welcome you all to the agrivision for you youtube channel my name is piyush ulivkar and today we are going to discuss the uh, gate 2022 xc paper particularly fluid mechanics so now let us move to the next question here so consider a cart of uh, mass 10 kg okay so diagram is little bit difficult typical so i am not drawing it that much okay at that much perfection i will just draw 60 degree here and i will just draw like that it has some system and the jet is coming and it is going like this so directly it has a weight of and here the g is given 10 so that means 10 into 10 directly 100 weight okay and weight is in newton now inclination is given 60 so as you can see that this particular thing is also inclined the same so this angle should also be 60 degree okay so that thing should be now we will read the question a turning vane of negligible weight is mounted on the cart a horizontal steady water jet is issued from a stationary nozzle okay so here it is the nozzle it is issued in the area is given that is the point 1 meter square strikes the turning when as shown in the figure the vane turns the jet downward parallel in the inclined plane okay find out the minimum jet velocity okay so ultimately we have to calculate the velocity here in the meter per second which will not allow the cart to come down neglect the friction consider the density okay 1000 uh, kg per meter cube and the acceleration due to gravity okay so all the things are clear so ultimately what we have to calculate we have to calculate the velocity of the jet okay so uh, there are lot of uh, things involved in this question okay it is a little bit complicated question according to me and i guess there are two ways to solve it like um, if suppose uh, Uh, firstly uh, we always have to consider the cartesian coordinate system here so either we can consider this system like this is x and y and we can consider this as x sorry this as x and this as y and here you can consider this as x and this as y okay so there are two possibilities i uh, feel comfortable with this particular cartesian system because uh, th this will make your question very uh, difficult and typical so if you consider this cartesian coordinate okay so that means this is your x direction and this is your y direction uh, so to solve that question i will equate the forces that is for true but the question arises whether it is for vertical or the horizontal i will personally prefer the horizontal Uh, I found that uh, we we got the different answer in the vertical, and uh, we got the different answer in horizontal. But at my personal opinion, uh, to take the forces in the horizontal direction will be much better. As per my experience of solving the questions, so that's why what I am doing, I will just simply just equate the forces here. Like suppose. Uh, will also be uh, 60 degree and 60 cos so here you will get the g 60 okay so mg sin 60 will be equal to now um, we uh, have to equate this particular thing with the force so we have force f of x in this direction but since we are consider this as a cartesian coordinate in the x direction you have to uh, make the component of the force itself that is f f x of and then it is cos of 60 like the force is in this direction since we are making the angle of this as a 60 degree we made that angle 60 degree so by this way we uh, got our basic equation and uh, now the question arises with this particular ff f of x so firstly what i will do mg 
tan of 60 degree equals to f of x so here we will apply the linear momentum equation simply but to solve that particular linear momentum equation i have to consider the control volume here if suppose this is a jet okay so i will consider this as the control volume okay in which you can clearly observe that the incoming jet is in zero degree and the outgoing is at the 60 degree okay so i will consider this as control volume and accordingly i will solve the question like here it is m2 v2 minus of m1 v1 this is the outgoing and this is the incoming okay. so assume that this is a positive direction for the velocity and this is the negative direction for the velocity so by this way outgoing consider this as the positive and this as the negative so in this way if you modify this so this is this is particularly m dot uh, there is no uh, leakage of any mass so i can write it as directly uh, m dot equals rho a b okay so it is m dot 1 and m dot 2 same okay so let me just take it common uh, then uh, you have v2 as it is and this is particularly v1 i can write it as v1 cos of theta okay uh, but since velocity is also same i can directly write it as and uh, one one thing i missed here since the direction is in v2 is in this direction so i must take this as the minus sign so minus rho a v now if you take it common v square 1 plus of cos of theta okay so mg tan of 60 so you have the mass uh, you know this this value you know the density you know the area the area is given as the point 0.1 and, uh, this is the velocity uh, this is this is our ultimate goal and uh, this has a cos theta is 60 degree so by this way you can calculate the value of the velocity from here and if you calculate this particular value of velocity you will get 1.074 meter per second see i already told you the value of velocity is this when we consider uh, this particular uh, direction of forces uh, like horizontal in the x direction if you consider the vertical maybe your answer might change so i am not sure uh, 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 i am not sure about this particular thing about uh, uh, which direction you should take for the calculation but according to my understanding i guess this should be the best answer okay so i hope you got the concept here so now let us move to the next question here and in this question it is given that which of the following statements regarding a venturi meter is correct okay so you know the venturi meter it shapes like this the section is known as the throat section this is the converging section and this is the diverging section and the flow is from this to this okay so let us read the question uh, in the direction of flow it consists of the converging section throat and the diverging section so of course uh, even if you change the direction you will get the same configuration like uh, uh, first you will get the converging section then throat and then diverging section so this option is true in the direction of flow is continuous or diverging okay so it is exactly opposite so this is wrong statement now the option c is it is used for the uh, flow measurement at very low reynolds number okay so 
according to me uh, if they say very low reynolds number so that means the reynolds number uh, according to me if if they told very low then it must be uh, less than 1 or or it or it's very very low so i don't think that much a reynolds number we will use uh, um at the particular venture meter since we are using this uh, venture meter in the industrial applications where the uh, reynolds number is quite high so i don't think uh, it is uh, true so at personal level i am just neglecting these options now uh, next is the pressure trappings are provided just upstream of the venture meter and at the throat okay so yeah actually uh, just to calculate the pressure we we just uh, uh, do some arrangement like this here at the throat and at the at here okay so this is pressure this is pressure just to calculate the pressure difference we use the pressure trappings trappings okay so uh, this is true okay uh still uh, since the answer key is not released i am not sure about this particular thing because uh, there is no clear understanding that uh, how much it is low okay uh, it told that very very low reynolds number but let's see now but according to me a and d option uh, should be the correct option